Good morning. Good morning. We're bright and early here at 8 o'clock this morning here. Uh, thank you very much for coming. My name is Joe Malazzo. I'm the Executive Director of the Regional Transportation Alliance Business Leadership Group, and welcome to the 2015 RTA Transportation Breakfast. Our topic, as we all know, the economics of air service. North Carolina is the birthplace of aviation. North Carolina is Research Triangle Region is also the birthplace of new technology and new innovation. And this morning, the Research Triangle Region and the Regional Transportation Alliance and our partners here at Raleigh-Durham Airport welcome new conversations about new air service. It's my pleasure to introduce our RTA Vice Chair for Air, air Service, Mr. Mike Schoenfeld with Duke University. Please welcome Mike. Thank you, Joe, and good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to our uh, pre-sunrise breakfast on uh, thanks to through, uh, daylight savings time. Uh, I'm Mike Schoenfeld. I'm the Vice President for Public Affairs and Government Relations at Duke University, uh, and I also have the honor of serving as the RTA Air Service Vice Chair. Um, on behalf of the RTA and the regional business uh, community, we are delighted to bring together all of you uh, and some special guests for a very important and informative dialogue about the economics of air service and the opportunities for our market both today and as we grow. Uh, for those of you who were at the uh, RTA meeting in December, you heard us talk about and announce the Air Service Advancement Project, or ASAP, in which we are committed to working with our partners, uh, many in this room and many beyond, to raise <clears throat> excuse me, a half a million dollars in cash and in-kind donations for marketing support for new international air service to a transcontinental gateway destination. Now, if you have not become an ASAP member, well, um, and an ASAP investor, the, uh, as, as uh, we say at RTA, let's get moving. There's still plenty of time. We'll lock the doors. Nobody's leaving until they put their checks in the, in the bucket. Um, and uh, we will be, uh, we, we uh, have information at your seat, a handout um, with information about ASAP. Uh, we hope certainly that uh, after today's conversation um, that you will, if you're not already an ASAP investor, that you will strongly consider joining us in this extraordinarily important effort for the region. So today we're going to build on the ASAP momentum by learning from national aviation experts about the economics of air service, both domestic and international. As Bruce noted, I am the RTA um, Air Service Vice Chair. Um, you may recall that a, a long ago Vice President of the United States uh, of America once said that being the Vice President was um, worth not much more than a warm bucket of spit. But uh, in this particular case, uh, it's actually worth a lot more because I get to work with uh, one of our uh, most committed and invested leaders uh, in transportation and air service, Bruce Sargent, who is with the IBM Corporation and is the vice chair, uh, the RTA Air Service chair. Uh, Bruce could not be here today because he is, um, well, leaving on a jet plane somewhere. Um, but he is contemplating ways uh, at every moment to advance air service and to grow our ASAP initiatives even as we speak. Bruce? Good morning. I'm Bruce Sargent, RTA's Air Service Chair and IBM's Manager of Real Estate for both North Carolina and Arizona operations. I also chair the regional business community's new Air Service Advancement Project, which is coordinated by RTA that is focused on strengthening international air service at RDU. Enhancing air service is important to IBM and to the Regional Transportation Alliance because it makes employees more productive and our region more attractive. We are extremely fortunate to have two national experts with us this morning to share their knowledge and help the region make better decisions on supporting air service expansion. Dr. Bellababa, your important work on air transportation economics and the research on airline pricing with MIT will provide critical insights for us and opportunities in our market and beyond. Mr. Heinlich, your broad perspective on economics and regulatory affairs from your experience with both major airlines and the industry's A4A Trade Association will inform our understanding of where we can fly and how much it will cost us to get there. I really wish I could be there with all of you this morning in person. I do want to extend my personal thanks to the RTA members, to the elected partners for taking time out of their morning to learn from these aviation experts. 
On behalf of the regional business community, I want to thank both Peter and John for making the sacrifice of your prep time, your travel time, and also the time you have with us this morning. Your guidance will help RTA as we continue our commitment of working with the other businesses in the region as well as our elected leaders, our partners at RDU, and our nation's airlines enhancing our air service. There will be a recording of this event on the letsgetmoving.org website that will be posted later this week. I will also be posting a blog entry on the RTA website that will summarize what I've learned and I'll be inviting other people for their feedback as well. I want to thank everybody for their participation this morning and look forward to a great event. Thank you very much, Bruce, and thanks for your leadership wherever you are for, the, uh, for RTA and for the Air Service Advancement Project. Um, now I'm going to introduce our speakers, uh, all three of them together. Uh, so I ask that you hold your applause until, uh, until we um, uh, complete the introductions. Our first guest is uh, Peter Bellababa. He is the principal research scientist in the International Center for Air Transportation at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology where he teaches graduate courses on the airline industry, airline management, and air transportation operations research. His research is focused on economics, pricing, competition, and revenue management. Dr. Bellababa holds a master's degree in transportation and a PhD in flight transportation systems from MIT. He is a lead author and editor of the recently released book, The Global Airline Industry. John Heimlich joined Airlines for America in April 2001 and currently serves as Vice President and Chief Economist. Previously, he spent five years at United Airlines in financial planning, financial analysis, and international and regulatory affairs. John received his Bachelor of Arts degree from Cornell University and a Master's degree in Public Policy from Harvard University. While pursuing his graduate degree, he had the good fortune to study air transport economics at MIT with his friend and co-presenter, Peter Bellababa. A native of Kent, Ohio, John reports that he is a long-suffering Cleveland sports fan and a proud, <clears throat> and a proud supporter of the national champion, national champion? Ohio State Buckeyes. That's, is that football or, or uh, <laughs> ultimate frisbee? I can't, I, I can't remember. Anyway, welcome. <clears throat> Mike Langith, who many of you know, is the president and CEO of the Raleigh-Durham International Airport. He assumed that position in November of 2011. As president and CEO, Mike is responsible for RDU's overall staffing, budgeting, strategic planning, and operations. He is a seasoned airport professional with more than 20 years in the industry. So before we begin our discussion, I'm going to ask Mike, to, uh, Mike Langeth to uh, come up and provide us with a brief overview of RDU and the issues and challenges and opportunities that we face uh, going forward. And again, thank you all for being here today. Mike? 